Hello. This is the second story about Gilbert the Great White Shark and it's called Gilbert in Deep. It's by me, Jane Clark, and it's illustrated by Charles Fuge. And in this one, Gilbert has a new friend, a new remora fish called Rita. Gilbert the Great White Shark loved to play hide-and-seek with Rita Remora. So, let's have a look. Where are they? She's right down here. But they already knew all the nooks and crannies in the coral reef and all the hiding places in the wreck. So, one day after school, Gilbert asked his mother, Mum, can we go and play hide-and-seek on the other side of the reef? If you like, Mrs Munch smiled, but be sure to be back before the sun goes down and don't go over the edge. Gilbert and Rita swam off happily. The sea was rough on the other side of the reef. When Gilbert hid in the surging surf, Rita was tumbled and tossed by the waves. And when Rita hid in the swirling seaweed, Gilbert found it terribly tangly. I'm tired of playing hide and seek, sighed Gilbert. Let's swim off the edge and play hide and deep. Your mum will be cross, warned Rita. She'll go off the deep end. She won't know as long as we're back before dark, grinned Gilbert. What is it? The edge of the reef dropped away into inky darkness. It's dark in the deep, Gilbert said, peering over the edge. You're not scared of the dark, are you? asked Rita. Me? Scared? gulped Gilbert. Great white sharks aren't scared of anything. And they dived off the edge together. Above them, pale rays of watery sunshine silhouetted a shimmering shadow. It's a ghost whale! Rita froze in her fins. Boo! Gilbert shouted, and the huge shadow broke up into glittering rainbows. It's only cuttlefish, he grinned. There's nothing to be scared of. So down and down they dived in through the deep, dark ocean. As it gets darker and darker, the deeper you go. They stopped at the entrance to a cave. I can't think, see a thing in here, said Gilbert. It's the perfect place to play hide and deep. My turn to hide. And he took a deep breath and swam in. Rita covered her eyes with her fins and began to count to ten. <laughs> Gilbert bumped into an empty giant clamshell. He wriggled inside. He closed his eyes so he couldn't see how dark it was. Eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come, Rita called in a wobbly voice. Gilbert opened one eye and peeked out of the clamshell. This is what he saw. A ghostly green light was glowing in the darkness. The light bobbed closer. Gilbert's heart beat faster. The light bobbed past the clamshell. It was bobbing towards Rita. The light went out. Gilbert's tummy did a somersault. He squeezed out of his hiding place. Rita, where are you? Gilbert, Rita squealed. There's a green-eyed monster in this cave. Gilbert's teeth began to chatter. I'm not a monster, said a gravelly voice indignantly. I'm an anglerfish. My name is Gloanna. I, I can't see you, Gilbert stammered. It's much too dark. 
Why didn't you say so? said Floanna. All together now, Cave. Ready, steady, glow. And the cave was bathed in an eerie green light. Ah! Gilbert yelled. Ah! Gloanna and her friends took one look at Gilbert's teeth and they leapt into each other's fins. So these are those creatures that live deep down in the dark and have lights called bioluminescence. Rita crept back to Gilbert's side. Gilbert took a deep breath. Hello, Gloanna, he spluttered. There's no need to be scared, said Gloanna. Me? Scared? said Gilbert. Great white sharks aren't scared of anything. Rita rolled her eyes. <laughs> she said. The sun's going down. We better get back before your mum finds out we went over the edge. Let's go, yelled Gilbert. Come up and play hide and seek with us sometime, Gloanna. I'm not going up there, Gloanna gasped. All sorts of scary things live in the light. Let's see that page here, sorry. Open, yes, that's better. Gilbert swam out of the cave. That's not the way we came, called Rita. But Gilbert was already swimming up towards the rays of the setting sun. Rita raced to catch him up. All around them, seaweed was swaying and spooky shadows were swirling. Everything looked wrong. Stick close to me, Rita, stammered Gilbert. Moonlight began to filter into the deep blue ocean. Above them, a huge silvery moon shadow was creeping along the edge. A moon shadow with beady eyes and ferocious teeth. It crept closer and closer and... Gilbert, get up here this minute, Mrs Munch thundered. You're in deep trouble. Gilbert and Rita looked at each other. Uh-oh, they gulped. I told you not to go over the edge, Mum said. You're not to go out of my sight until I'm sure I can trust you again. Gilbert's fins drooped. Sorry, Mum, he whispered. We won't do it again. Mrs Munch hugged Gilbert tightly. Well, thank goodness I found you. I was scared you were lost in the deep, she said. I was a bit scared too, admitted Gilbert. But you said great white sharks weren't afraid of anything, Gil Rita reminded him. In the moonlit ocean, Gilbert the great white shark looked up at his mother and smiled a shaky, sharky smile. Well, nearly anything, he grinned. Because he had been a bit scared after all, because everybody gets a bit scared sometimes. So that's the end. Um, I've also read... Gilbert the Great and shown some of my sharky stuff on YouTube so have a look for that and find out more about sharks and I'll read the third story another day. Thanks.